tension pneumothorax very very important topic so see tension pneumothorax okay so what is the basic problem in this tension pneumothorax okay so in this case there is one way valve air leak and this one way valve air leak is there from the chest or it can occur from the lungs so the main problem in this patient is that there is one way valve air leak okay this will explain everything either from chest wall or from lungs or from both okay so what is the pathophysiology have a look now here you can see there is penetrating trauma to the chest wall and there is injury to the lungs clear and because of that there is formation of one way valve air leak now imagine if there is penetrating trauma in the chest wall and there is formation of this one way valve so what happens during inspiration our chest cavity moves out and there is negative pressure inside the chest so what will happen this one way valve will open and when it's going to open what will happen because of negative pressure air will come inside the thorax so what will happen here you notice that air enters into thoracic cavity and here air is pushed inside the thoracic cavity and it is collected under tension why because this air is not able to escape why because in expiration when there is positive pressure the valve is closed so what inspiration valve is open air is coming inside the thoracic cavity expiration valve is closed so air is retained inside it is not able to go out now imagine if there is penetrating trauma to the lungs or whenever there is tracheobronchial injury now just imagine a balloon in a balloon in deflated state i am going to puncture the balloon okay i punctured a balloon in deflated state now imagine the balloon whenever i'm going to inflate the balloon the site of puncture is going to enlarge clear same thing happens with lungs if there is a puncture site or site of injury during inspiration during inspiration when the lung expands that site of injury is going to enlarge so what happens there is air leak and during expiration when lung is going to collapse what happens air is not able to escape so ultimately here also what is happening that air is collected or air is forced into thoracic cavity and it is collected under tension so this happens in tension pneumothorax since air is collected under tension over a period of time what is going to happen you will notice that this air is going to compress the ipsilateral lung right so what will happen ipsilateral lung is compressed one second you notice that there is first collapse of ipsilateral lung second you can notice that there is shift of mediastinum because of high pressure clear because air is collected under tension there is high pressure on that side of thorax third problem you can see there is depressed diaphragm what is the problem there is depressed diaphragm clear and what else can you see this is superior vena cava and this is inferior vena cava there is compression or distortion and because of this compression or distortion what happens there is decreased venous return so there is decreased venous return i am repeating so because of air collected under tension collapse of ipsilateral lung shift of mediastinum to opposite side depressed diaphragm distortion of vena cava leading to decreased venous return so these are the pathophysiological changes which are seen in tension pneumothorax you have seen patients of tension pneumothorax in emergency so these patients at the time of presentation they have dyspnea tachypnea right they have distended neck veins and whenever we are performing the examination we perform the percussion we notice what that there is hyper resonance in affected hemithorax if you perform the osc percussion if you perform the auscultation you are going to notice that there is absent breath sounds clear so these are the clinical manifestations what are the causes of tension pneumothorax have a look so see the etiology of tension pneumothorax etiology so tension pneumothorax can be caused by both penetrating trauma and blunt trauma so whenever there is penetrating trauma to the chest wall there is formation of one way valve 
leading to air leak and because of this blunt trauma what's the problem there is tracheobronchial injuries so in blunt trauma it can lead to tracheobronchial injuries which can cause the tension pneumothorax you have noticed in icu that anesthetists are going to insert the center line especially in this subclavian vein so when they are inserting the center line in this subclavian vein apex of lung is injured so in that case also tension pneumothorax can occur so iatrogenic lung puncture especially during central line insertion via subclavian vein when we are inserting the central line and if we give mechanical positive pressure ventilation because of high pressure there is lung rupture or injury to the lungs and because of this what tension pneumothorax can occur okay now see what are the clinical features so we discussed so these patients have dyspnea there is tachypnea and we discussed there is distended neck veins distended neck veins right now what are the findings on percussion hyperresonance and auscultation absent breath sounds so on percussion there is hyperresonance hyperresonance and on auscultation there is absent breath sounds clear so there is absent breath sounds okay and these patients are also having hypotension right so patients have hypotension also now most of the times in aims there is a clinical picture of trauma and they will describe it that patient is having dyspnea patient is not able to speak or patient is going to speak only one or two words there is increased respiratory rate on percussion there is hyper resonance on auscultation there is absent breath sound what should be the next best step so first thing we have to make the diagnosis of tension pneumothorax and see it's a clinical diagnosis on the basis of clinical suspicion only we have to insert a wide bore needle in second intercostal space in mid clavicular line we are not supposed to send the patient to radiology department because sometimes if you are going to send the patient to radiology department patient might expire so it's a clinical diagnosis see here flail chest as well as tension pneumothorax both are clinical diagnosis right so diagnosis it's clinical diagnosis right sometimes they will provide you x-ray means suppose x-ray was done what are the x-ray findings so we discussed it so in pathophysiology we discussed that air is collected under tension and can you see the lung shadow here so ipsilateral lung is collapsed and if you see the diaphragm so there is depressed diaphragm and if you see the mediastinum there is shift of mediastinum so what are the findings here ipsilateral lung it's collapsed there is depressed diaphragm here you can see depressed diaphragm and what else you can see that there is shift of mediastinum shift of mediastinum this is another image based question which is frequently asked in aims so these are the findings by the way the diagnosis is clinical so on the basis of suspicion only we have to insert a wide bore needle in second intercostal space in mid clavicular line but see this is an older concept according to atls 2018 updates if patient is an adult rather than inserting the wide bow needle in second intercostal space in adults we are inserting the wide bow needle in fifth intercostal space in fifth intercostal space slightly anterior to mid axillary line so actually speaking which line anterior axillary line i'm repeating we have to insert wide bore needle clear where exactly in children second intercostal space in mid clavicular line this was the older concept so according to new concept this is followed for children okay so if a patient is child 
There we insert the wide bore needle in second costal space in mid clavicular line. According to ATLS update 2018, ATLS update 2018, what's the change? In adults, we have to insert the wide bore needle in fifth intercostal space. And where? Slightly anterior to mid axillary line. And actually speaking, it is anterior axillary line. Clear? So I'm repeating. What's the treatment? In children, wide bore needle in second intercostal space in mid clavicular line. In adults, wide bore needle in fifth intercostal space in anterior axillary line. This is emergency treatment. And what is the treatment of choice? ICD insertion in fifth intercostal space in triangle of safety. Okay. So this is emergency treatment. And what is the treatment of choice for tension pneumothorax? So that's ICD insertion. Where exactly? In triangle of safety. Triangle of safety. And in which intercostal space? Obviously, fifth intercostal space. Clear? So you have to remember because this question was asked in AIMS, they asked that the wide bow needle should be inserted in which intercostal space, second or fifth and age of the patient was 20 years. So obviously it is the fifth intercostal space. So this is how we manage the patients of tension pneumothorax.